Hi everyone, so I am back with another journal. Uh, this is again still using my, my own kit called Wild Flowers and I will link everything below. Um, so I've decided to make a little um, like TN size journal. It's actually just slightly smaller than a TN. So it actually measures seven and three quarters by four and a half. It has one signature, 56 pages front and back. It will be in my shop if you're interested and for today only, which is, I haven't got a clue what the today's date is. Let me see. I still don't know. <laughs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> Let me see what day it is. What date, I should say. Oh, why am I so rubbish at these dates? Um, ah, the 5th. <laughs> it is the 5th of March. Anyway, it, yeah, it would be a reduced price for today only. Um, so there's little bits of black cotton everywhere. So we have got um, this on the front. Oh, I um, forgot to put a tag in there. Do you know what? Oh, I could kick myself. I literally went through all the journal and made sure that there was things in every pocket and decorated where it needed to be, needed to be decorated. I forgot to put a tag in here, so I'm going to put a tag in and it will just be a stamped tag with something like, um, I don't know, I'll have something stamped on it. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. So yeah, there is a, a tag space. Let me see if I can grab, well, that's not a tag, but I'll just show you that there is a space there for a tag. Um, the little label in the background there is um, from the, uh, or oh, this image here is actually a freebie. I've done um, two toppers for a journal cover. Um, that's in my, my uh, coffee shop. So the little labels are, but the word is from Artie Mays. The butterfly, I think, is from this label, uh, this freebie kit. Uh, no, okay, it's a page. Um, and I obviously I've done stitching. The pocket is made from an antique book page. Here we've got a little booklet on the front, um, just with some different sizes of paper, lined and plain. It's all been coffee dyed. Oops, that's from when I folded it and cut it. It's all stuck together. Um, like that because that's not even like the same paper there we go maybe it was a bit of glue got on there i don't know so we've got the little booklet there so you can see the cover's been stitched i'll just show you the cover um i also today put up a little three page freebie which is just background pages that will go with this kit and possibly any other um like vintage style journal that you make uh so yeah so this is one of the pages from the kits here i've just made um these are a freebie as well this label is from <clears throat> excuse me from the old design shop this is arty maze so is the green label in the background and um, that is some page uh, paper from the kit my kit pockets here <coughs> excuse me i need to take a little drink I haven't spoke for hours I've just been sitting here watching TV and crafting. Uh, this is from Bohemian Crafting. These uh, these tags are actually my own tags that I use to create digitals on top of them like this. Um, so that's not available. That's just my own thing um, for me. And I stamped on that. So there's that tag there. And then this tag from the kit. There is a Edith Holden um, punched, what do you call that, tab, a tab, and obviously the paper clips holding that there. And then here we've got a journal card from the kit and then a stamp tag here, more Edith Holden on there. This is from Bohemian Crafting, a little bit of digital washi from <clears throat> um, chapter one. The label was from Artie Maze. made a little cluster thing here. And a journal card there, that is from the kit, the wildflower kit. Here, that just flips out, so you've got journal space. And that is two tags, obviously. And that's a little cluster with a butterfly, that's from Artie Mays. Another page from the kit. Here we've got a stamp tag, and that's from the kit as well. That's like a French check. 
with flowers on it, pockets from the kit, little bit of digital washi and a label. Here we've got <clears throat> a little stamp tag and a postcard from the kit. That's from the add-on because there's a main kit, an add-on kit and about <clears throat> three or four freebie pages. And I also put up, um, that was from my own stash, was some uh, music paper in two different tones. You've got the white background and then like a kind of vintagey background. That's again available over on my coffee shop. But it's just good because not everybody can get hold of um, vintage music paper. And that was vintage music paper What I, that I scanned in and altered the colour a little bit. Uh, we've got a little tab here. Then we have more journal space, centre of the signature. We've got the crocheted trim, the lined paper, some more tags and postcards. That all goes in there, the butterflies, Artie Mace. That is from chapter one, that is Bohemian Crafting. Another cluster here on that flip. Uh, tag and a postcard. Little bit of digital washi and a little label. Here we've got another one of these French checks and another tag and another stamp tag. That's a pocket from the main kit. A oh, little bit of glue holding that together, not supposed to. Little flip out there. Lined paper with some trim here. Another tag that I'd made freebie image there, um, <clears throat> little cluster, corner tuck here, tag and a little journal card, another cluster there that opens up, little stamp tag, another one of these, here we've got some digital washi and a label, the cluster, digital washi and a label and then we've got another one of these tags in a pocket that's from the kit and there we go so that is that and like I said that will be reduced for today only which is the 5th of March that's 2024 just in case you're watching that like two years down the line <clears throat> um yeah check out my coffee shop check out my I think there's maybe one other journal available on there at the moment. Um, and there's the digital kits, the freebies. Yeah, just have a little look whilst you're over there. Um, yeah, that was fun to make. Uh, I'm going to go on to something different now. I've got a design team project for the old design shop that I need to start. And then it will be a design team project for Artie Mays. And yeah, we'll go from that. So any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.